Yeah, the work at home life is great. Until it isn't. When it's not great is when the phone isn't ringing. This is how many projects I need per month. So far this month, I've had this many. It's kind of good when it's slow. I mean, you can get out there and market, meet new clients. You spend a lot more time at the water cooler. When it's slow, my favorite temptation always nags at me. You know, the one that starts with an S. Snacking. It doesn't help when you have no money coming in, you have other mouths to feed. Um, yeah, I've been slow. Oh, you've been slow too? Anything you got for me, I'll take it. So how come you guys haven't sent me a project in a while? Oh, you saw my vlog? Oh, you saw my vlog? Oh, you saw my vlog? Hello? In the end, you can only work so hard at trying to find more work. And when the snacks and tequila are finally gone, it's just time to go surfing. One tends to forget money problems on those mornings that seem made out of gold. Where I live, it's like surfing in Middle Earth. It's just a magical and mystical coast. But watch out for orcs. They call it the Red Triangle and it is downtown dorsal fin. And we're talking about the great white, the baddest shark in the hood. Now I'm a nature lover and all, but you would never catch me touching a great white shark. How did I get in the water all those years with these things swimming around? Denial. It was out of sight, out of mind until this happened. There was a shark show near the cement ship in Aptos. Fifteen sharks. Sh huh? Who are you calling a shark? We sure did have a shark show, all right. This happened the same day I shot this episode. Who does this shark think he is, Shamu? I mean, people were seeing fins everywhere. I felt like I needed to see one of these sharks. That led me here, and here, to this guy. My ever animated aviator friend Chris. Specialized offers marine wildlife tours over the Monterey Bay. Being a surfer himself, Chris has seen more sharks than he'd like, and yet he still surfs. Uh, still surf and do not go down to the beaches. <laughs> hey, that's where I surf. To satisfy my morbid curiosity, Chris offered to take me for a little hop on a hunt for great white sharks. I thought he was kidding when he suggested we take the door off so I could see better. Chris! Uh-oh. <laughs> that was me, I was just kidding. Yeah, watch well, traffic, uh, helicopter with three brother killer. Not kidding about that door! I thought if I could just see one shark, I might be less afraid of the things. Of course, we'd have to find one first. Thanks to some seriously murky water caused by a natural plankton bloom called Red Tide, there were no sharks to see. There were a few scenic highlights. And a couple of low lights. Oh, what a nice view of the land, though. Welcome to Buena Vista Top. Yeah, points north. Here's the jail. So I got skunked on my search for sharks. And as we headed back to the airport, I couldn't help but feel a little let down. Chris said he usually sees around 7 to 10 sharks, and that he's seen as many as 15 in one day. He showed me this recent footage to prove it.
Remember how I thought seeing a shark might make me less afraid of them? It was just the opposite. And maybe I shouldn't be so shocked to find sharks in the ocean. This guy once said, there's nothing truly magical that doesn't have a terrifying quality. That's bull shark. Lord knows I'm not going to just quit and take up land surfing. I guess if I want to keep experiencing that magic, I just need to get a bigger set of boards. Don't just join me on the next Cupcake Works at Home. Get involved, comment, like, subscribe. I want to hear what you think. Are you afraid of sharks? Are you afraid of helicopters? Are you afraid of animated aviators? In the meantime, would you hire this guy?